variable impedance actuators, moving the robots of tomorrow. The capabilities of a human muscle have not yet been achieved by a mechanical device. An important missing aspect in classical stiff actuators is a passive element, like a spring, able to store energy at decouple inertias. Different variable stiffness actuators have been designed in the Vectors Consortium, where output torque and output stiffness can be separately controlled. The different designs have different properties, such as low energy to change stiffness, large deflection range, high torque or ease of building. Also variable damping devices have been developed to facilitate their control. Applied actuators allow exploiting the natural dynamics of a mechanical system, like for example bipedal walking robots. By properly exchanging kinetic and potential energy stored in a spring, energy efficient robots can be obtained. By adapting the stiffness, different walking modes can be selected. As such, more human-like motions can be obtained. As for example the heelus tendon, which is a very important spring in the human body, can be imitated by using spring elements, obtaining much more efficient prosthesis. Also to throw a ball, a stiff actuator cannot reach high speeds. The same motor can however store energy in the spring, so the ball can be thrown much further. This property is also required to kick a ball. Stiff joints fail in this task, while in a compliant actuator, energy can be accumulated to give a firm kick. Also to absorb impacts, for example when stabilizing, the passive springs have an infinite bandwidth compared to a stabilizer using stiff actuators. Stiff actuators cannot absorb impacts, so hammering will break their gearboxes. By decoupling the actuator output from the gearbox by the springs, compliant actuators have no problem hitting the nail on the head. The adaptability of both the force and compliance allows the robot to increase its dynamic performance, for example for explosive motions like hammering. To interact with an unknown and dynamic changing environment, position control is not suitable. Force control over compliant actuators has much greater performances. The actuator allows for modifications of the imposed trajectory, for example to hold a cup or draw on irregular surfaces. By appropriately controlling the damping component, OSBIA, the motion can be stabilized. Task with tools are unstable. We modeled and implemented the human strategy to learn impedance for stable and skillful interaction. Compliant actuators are also robust to perturbations and unpredictable model errors and changes. So compliant actuators can stay in the rhythm. So a fist dump is not a threat for the robot anymore, but VIAs become actuators you can trust. For rehabilitation devices, an accurate and adaptable force interaction and exchange with the user is requested. For human-friendly robots, safety is of primary importance. Also in case of collision, a robot has to be resilient to self-damage. By decoupling inertias, safety can be improved. The impact energy of the collision is absorbed by the compliant element, so the critical components of the robots are conserved. This provides human-friendly robots, but please try to be gentle to the robot, and not hit it with the baseball bat or by knocking it. Compliant elements introduce oscillations, but damping control or passive damping actuators can compensate for those. For social robots that need to interact with children, safety is important, so the compliant actuators will play an important role. Compliance also contributes to a soft touch for a trustable human robot interaction. This gives the robot the sweetness to live in synergy with them. Variable Impedance Activators, Moving the Robots of Tomorrow, brought to you by the Vectors Consortium.